Um, I wanted to, you to see this because this is the back of part of the old Cavendish Laboratory. It's now my department, Social Anthropology, um, and this is our seminar room and uh, teaching room and our staff rooms up here. But it was part of the great science buildings of Cambridge for many years. At the top there was radio astronomy, and we'll go up there because my room is up there and you'll see what happened there. But what's most interesting is this basement down below here, because one of the great, greatest puzzles and problems in the history of science has been to discover the basic element of matter, the atom. And the atom was discovered and identified in that basement there, mm -hmm. or largely, because as someone described the problem, it's like trying to find a fly in a cathedral, in a huge building like King's College Chapel, one single fly. And the task of doing that there was a race on between the Germans, the Americans, and the British. And the person who first discovered it was Rutherford in his laboratory here. He was the one who split the atom. And a lot of the work for many years was done not over there, but according to the book called The Fly in the, in the Cathedral. If you describe, he describes where this work was done. And it was done in a, a basement along from the main department with windows out of which you could see people walking along. The only place I can identify along here that has that characteristic is here. So what is now the PhD students' work area was for many years the area where they were discussing, trying to discover the, the basic element of physics and succeeded. A, a few months after they moved back from here up there, they then split the atom and established its existence. So this is a, one of the quintessentials the origins and the nature of life over there, the origins and nature of matter over here.